we work together. So, what will you choose to be this time? What is your finest vision for your highest thought of the best that you can attain? Think about that for a moment. What is your greatest desire? What is on that bucket list that you have? You don't have a bucket list, right one? Who do you really want to be? Remember to allow yourself to dream and don't take on your mom's dream for you. Don't take on your dad's dream for you. Take on your dream for you. You're still unwritten. So staring at that blank page before you, that can be very scary. Many of us are facing a time in our lives when money is an issue, when the world around us seems uncertain. Our world is being destroyed by big business, and that makes us feel even more uncertain because we don't have control over that, and that makes us concerned and worried. And yet it still is that blank page. What will you decide to create today? We've talked about perception in a lot of ways the last few months. It's one of my favorite words, too. Along with do-over perception, it's got to be second on the list. It is so very important because how I perceive the world is most certainly not how you will perceive it. We come from various, various backgrounds. And my twin sister, if you're going to look at nature versus nurture, my twin, who grew up next to me with the same mom, sees the earth in a much different way than I do. And when we're with each other, we can barely be with each other for but two or three days, and then it's time to go. And with a happy I love you, see you maybe next year. <laughs> okay, so that's how very different we are, even though psychologists will tell you that nature creates similar beings. If your genetics are the same and your nurturing is the same, you should be similar, shouldn't you? But you look at family units and just about everybody in that family is different. <clears throat> so, who will you be in this instant? And I, I really do ask that you choose to be in this instant because isn't that where the power is? The past is gone. The future's not here. Who are we today in this instant, in this very moment, that's where your power is? That's the power of God. Now, in the now. Right this moment. Choose that do over. You give your being this power with your positive or negative thoughts. Those who are in a state of depression will stay locked in that state. Locked. Until they choose not to be. Whether by the aid of medicine or by their choice of changing the thoughts. They will be locked there until their mind and thoughts change. If you wake up knowing that your future is bleak and nothing will change, nothing will change. It's natural law. You call that into your beingness. No, nothing's going to change. And so it is. The universe must deliver what you are requesting. The moment that you decide that you've had enough, and today is your day to take fate by the hand and create your new now, the universe will step in and give that thought power. So what's my word for today? Do over. Do over, that's exactly right. So open the dirty window. And what I mean by that is open up the dirty
security windows, we all have them. The windows that block our forever. Those thoughts that keep us locked into the past. Open up that dirty window, clean it up. Windex, ammonia, whatever. Let the sun, let love's light illuminate the words that you cannot find. And if you're having a hard time with that, ask a friend. They'd be more than happy to illuminate you. Choose wisely. Choose wisely. What friend you ask to help illuminate you. Only your thoughts count, not theirs. And they might be stuck in the past. We allow others to tell us how to think, how to be, how to act. They form our very beingness, not their. That's your job. That's your joy. Let's do it together. But let's, let's again honor each other's uniqueness we're all separate flowers in the garden on the earth. And it just isn't fun to smell the same flower over and over again. <laughs> the universe hears you and will comply. Open up the window and let the light illuminate the hearts within your heart, the words within your heart, so that they can take wing and create a better now for you. Do both. It is your power. Reaching for something in the distance so close you can almost taste it. My favorite story for that sentence alone, how many times have you worked for something? Oh yeah, Leslie says, do over. I'm doing it over and you work for it and work for it and work for it. Well, she doesn't know what she's talking about. That didn't work. And I'm going to tell you that right on the other side of that wasn't working. It's like hitting the ball in the ball game. You're at softball, you hit the ball, and the ball goes flying. You can't see the ball. I don't think I'm going to run the bases. Somebody might catch it out there. And you're not going to see it hit the ground because it's over the fence. But you did it run the bases. Or if you did, you stopped at second base because you didn't.